Hello everyone, I am Sunil Jain, I am an app developer at DSC VAT and today we are going to have a look at an interesting package in Flutter. Today we are going to have a look at the Autoroute package. Autoroute package as the name suggests is a routing package. So why do we need just another routing package when we have the native and others out there? So there are a couple of features which Autoroute provides out of the box which may be very helpful for the users. So firstly, it generates everything for you. You give it a very small config file and it generates everything else for you. Over here, we can see an example of a very small config file. Here we have mentioned the native material or router to be used. After that, we say that uh, we want the home screen as our initial screen and then we go on adding our other screens. It's that easy. We just run the favorite command of Flutter developers and we get everything generated. After that, there are other features like uh, the use of context. The We may opt or not to use the context. So let's see uh, over here. We have three type, we have three methods by which we can uh, do the navigation part. We can use context or we can directly specify a router. So there can be multiple routers which uh, a user can uh, specify. Uh, so we can opt out for any of the router after that we have if we have only one router we can also take the root navigator and directly use it without any naming of the router or without using context this is very helpful in cases where we are not able to access the context there uh, then there are other features like automatic detection of the arguments so let's say if there is a class which needs some argument so we don't need to do anything. The auto route will automatically detect it and generate the required logic for us. There are other, there are many other several features which auto route provides. Route route cards are one of the best features provided by auto route. To explain it in a better, to understand it in a better way. So let's get started with the app. Over here, uh, this uh, counter app where I've removed all the comments. Also, I've just changed the title for it to be text uh, auto route. I've removed the title from here also. So, for to see auto route in action, uh, let's define a second page by the name of second page dot dot. Over here, if we see, we have second page dot dot. Um, Let's import the flutters material. After that, let's define the second page as second page extends stateless widget. We'll create the build override. We'll return a scaffold. having a container let's keep the page simple for now so let's say we in we have a text in center saying second page so here yeah, second page let's make the text bigger by adding some style text style font size as 20 and we have a second page ready now um, for now let's let's think how do we call push the second page so for plus on tap we have increment counter so let's do one thing let's add a gesture detector which on long press takes us to the next page so we have a gesture detector ready on long press i want to do something here i want to go to second page hmm 
so before going to the second page uh, let's try to put together the config file which we want so router dot dot okay um, uh, touch router dot dot so we have a router dot dot ready now let's try to define the router config file so we'll import auto route package and from the package i want a specific file named auto route annotations dot dot then we are going to use the material material auto router you could also define your own router but for now we'll be moving forward with the default one we'll define a class named router okay oh. so here we'll remove the extra material uh, now for the initial page we'll say we want my home page uh my home page with the name home page we'll import it import main dot dot for the second page we also need to define it so let's define it as second page over here we'll keep second underscore page dot dot now we'll leave it for generation hmm. see the scripts are building the file watches are set up the cached graph which was kept from the last build is also being used so the build can be faster oh yeah hmm. So one out of four and succeeded. So we have our generated uh, file ready. We can see it over here. We have router dot generator dot as our generated file. We have the on generate route over here. We have home page. We have our second page. Then we have our class router over here. So yeah, everything ready. So now let's try to push it. So we'll use extended navigator. Extended navigator provided by the auto route, and as we only have one navigator, we are going to use the root navigator, and we are going to push named. Now we have to use our generated file, so let's import it. Mm, router dot gr dot dot. We'll go back. We'll write a routes dot. I want to go to the second page. and this is how we how you navigate to the second page now uh this or uh, everything is set up but there should be some way we need to tell flutter that we are not going to use your default one and we want the auto route to take control of all the navigations so what we'll do is we'll convert this into an builder um we'll delete this we'll write extended navigator with router and now we'll specify the needed router over here which is uh our router of a generated router and we have this ready so this is how we tell flutter that we want to use the auto routes navigator generated navigator and this is it. so let's try to see it in action we'll try to restart the page restart the app and yes so the counter is working we we'll long press and we have the second page so everything is working as needed now let's try to see how do we pass arguments in auto route so for passing arguments let's do one thing we'll pass the counter value and we'll show it on the second page so let's edit the second page to receive the counter we have this counter over here second page where i have my required field as this dot counter we'll keep the constructor constant and then we'll add edit this to show the counter value dollar counter and yeah so we are going to show the counter value and then we need to 
again build it because we have made some changes in the second page so yeah this thing is building mm. as you can see it's showing the error over here for outs because the file has been generated again so for now it does not exist so the time it is as soon as it completes the this all errors will disappear and see as soon as it succeeded we all the errors were gone so now let's go over here and as we said earlier the auto route automatically detects the arguments to send to a page so let's try to restart and let's try to see what happens so over here okay this is working and we get something it says arguments mistype so it says we wanted second page arguments but we did not find anything so this one catch over here so auto route automatically detects the arguments but we still need to pass the arguments from where we are pushing the page so it it provides us a very good interface a very easy to use interface for it now let's say now let's see how we I'm going to pass the arguments. So we are over here. You can see we are passing the arguments. So second page arguments. Over here, you can see it needs the counter variable. So we'll pass on the counter variable, and over here it is underscore counter. So we have our counter variable ready. Now. Uh, this a uh, very simple question why did how did you know uh, it is second page argument how did you know the class is named second page arguments so over here what router what auto route does is uh, if some page has any arguments if only if it has any any arguments what it does is it takes the name it takes the name of that page after that it just appends arguments so you can add arguments in the same way to any page you want let's say you had a page name third page so it will be third page arguments now uh, so we have passed in the counters so over here we are expecting right now whatever counter value it is right now on the home page we expect to see it over there so let's restart our app we'll go back and yeah and then we'll long press and we have our counter value now let's increase it to 6 and we have a counter value see that's how easy it is to set up and use auto route everything got generated more for me i did not have to use context i passed in arguments very easily without being detected by the auto route automatically and generating it for us so th this is how auto route makes it very easy for you to use now it's just not this that the auto route provides the many additional features as you can see if in normal app if we use normal navigator you may have noticed uh, if we don't pass arguments it would have crashed badly but now over here you can see it gracefully crashed and showed us an error message that there was no arguments passed so we could understand in a much more better way there are other features provided like guards so guards are like uh, as a name suggest it guards a page it does not allow it to be pushed as long as that as long as you convince the guard that you are uh, you are allowed to push the page uh, let's try to understand it by an example uh, let's say if i have if i don't want to uh, push a page if the person is not logged in so we can easily define a guard it will uh, everything the logic behind it will be uh, auto generated we just need to say it uh, if the person is logged in or not let's say if have, we have it saved in shared preference so we can take it out of the shared preference the bool and we can pass it to the guard ke whenever someone comes this is the shared uh, this is my bool uh, if it is true or false decide based on that you have to allow or this allow this page to be pushed so these are the features which are provided by auto route which makes it very easy if you have any other doubts you can ask and ask us in the comment section thank you for your time we'll get to see you in the next video